place. I cannot relate for my first day of work or Rusko is going to find me. Told me that yesterday. He does not let people wait. I do not have time to be going to work my first day looking like a mess. No, no. Okay, just, just have more time. Clothes, work clothes, work clothes, work clothes. Please tell me she washed them and dried them. Please tell me she washed them. Where? Where are my clothes at? Where did she go? I have no clue as to where she could have put my clothes. Maybe they're in a dryer. Let's see a dryer. Okay. No. Just stop it. There's nothing in a dryer. No, 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 no. My shirt! My work pants! Could this thing get any worse? I'm your dad's chauffeur. I don't have a dad, but it's nice to meet you, even you though do. you do. Levi, right? No, wrong house. Uh, no, ma'am, I don't think it's. No, I, it's wrong house. I said wrong house. I don't know. Levi. I know for a fact it's not. Okay, and I know for a fact that you're at the wrong house. Well, I know I'm not, ma'am. Your dad is getting a specific message because I'm here to inform you that he has passed away. Oh, thank you. That's nice to know. Wait, Look. wait, ma'am. Why are you saying that? I haven't seen my dad in 15 years and you're coming by to tell me that he's dead and how do you want me to react? Sad? No, I'm happy. I'm well, actually I glad you should he's be dead. sad because you must be very important to him. Important. Me important to my dad who I haven't seen in what, 15 years? Because he abandoned me and my mother? And I'm you think sure that I'm it's much deeper than that, man. Much deeper? It's nothing deeper than not seeing a child for 15 years. So no, I oh, apologize. Wait, ma'am, um, I'm here to give you a message. That's not the only thing I want to tell you. What did you say your name was again? Oh, I'm just a chauffeur. They don't really give me a name. Okay, well, chauffeur, you can chauffeur yourself out. Well, ma'am, I'm just here to let you know that your dad's wife wants you to come by wife? for a will. His wife wants me to come by. Yes, for a will reading. Did she know he had a kid? Uh, I believe so. And she didn't tell him that he should go and see his kid? Then I don't want to see That's him. That's not my job, ma'am. I'm just here to drive him around okay, and follow um, orders. Okay, I'm going to call you C. Could you please leave? I have other stuff. So, so ma'am, does that with. mean you're not gonna attend the wedding? No, I'm not. So, excuse me. Well, well we that, can have we can have your bills covered for you. Bill, I don't need your money. I don't want your money. I want nothing to do with it. So, if you can please excuse me, I'm already missing work because my tire is flat. You can cover my your phone. wife while you come to the. Sir, please, I do not want to. Ma'am, listen, I'm just here to okay, do my job. That's okay, that's enough. I'm done. Can, can we please end this already so I'm going out? All right. Well, before you go, your dad wanted me to deliver this letter to you. Thank you. Excuse me. Nice to meet you. You too. All right, where are we headed to, sir? Wait, wait.
Where is she? She's not coming. What you mean she not coming? She said her dad has been dead to her. How is our dad dead if he just died? Well, she said that she never hears from him. Okay, so she can't come. You know what? She's very ungrateful. Somebody leaves you something regardless of if they talk to you or not. You could at least be appreciative enough to come and see what they left you. Well, sir, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I, I see it from both sides. Oh, so now you have an opinion. You know what, sir? I'm not going to get into this because this is none of my business, okay? But what do you want me to go ahead and head to you? I gave her the letter like I was supposed to and I did my part, so... Where do you want to go now? She says she's not coming. Are we just going to go ahead and head to the will reading? George, I admire you, so I would love to hear what you have to say about all of this. Well, here's what I think. I feel that if that was your dad and you didn't see him all the time, but all of a sudden he just pops up out of nowhere years later and you hear from him, you would feel the same way. But because you live with him, you don't feel like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I can't put myself in her shoes. Well, maybe it's not always about the materialistic things. Maybe she just feels like she wanted the bonding time that she never got with her dad. Wait, so you think that me and my family are materialistic? No, but I think you're just not in her shoes. Because the way I just saw her, she was pushing a bike home that looked like it had a flat tire. So she doesn't have the type of thing that we have. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go see for myself and she's going to be coming. Okay, sir. I'll be right here waiting on you to take you wherever you want to go. Hey. Hi, um, I think you got the wrong house. For some reason, everybody's coming to the wrong house. No, I have the right house. This is the one that our dad told us to come to. Okay. Dad? Yes. Who is your dad? You know our dad, Levi. I'm your brother. Levi is not my dad. My dad has been dead for 15 years. No, and you're our my dad what? just died yesterday, and no. I'm your brother. Yes. I don't have any other brothers. I yes, don't have any do. other. You no, don't recognize I don't. me, Axel? No, I don't know no Axel besides the one that go in the car some type of way that I don't really understand. I'm my mom's only kid, and I'm sorry that your dad died, but my dad has been dead for 15 years. So if you will excuse me, I'm sorry, Chris. Can you just please come with me? We need no. you for the well reading. You're very important. Our dad got us stuff. He left us stuff behind. Excuse you. I'm not coming to a well read. Whatever that means, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not coming to a will reading. I'm not coming to nothing. So you can have a nice day. And I'm so sorry that your dad has died. But it's our dad. And the reason I brush my hand off is because your house looks dirty. So I wouldn't want the dirt. My house off. looks dirty? Yes. My house is very much clean. I don't know where you come from or what side of town you're from. But this is clean over here, okay? This is not dirty. Okay, well, can you just now please have come a nice with day. me? No, I'm not coming. Ma'am. Can you please come Axel Rod, please do not put your hands back on my door. It's so dirty. I wouldn't want any dirt to get on your pretty little hands, okay? Okay, can you just please come with us, please? No, I'm my not. Chef, try. I'm, I'm not, not taking no for it. Yeah, Mr. C, he tried, but I don't really... Mr. C? That's his name. Oh, I forgot. You don't care about people or I do. anything. His name is George. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out where you got Okay, and his name is Mr. C to me. So have a nice day. You and Mr. C can go back to whatever side of town you live on. Goodbye. Well, I'll be right here with you. Have fun. I don't really care. <sighs> no way my brother just came to my house and he's going to boss me around. Ma, answer the phone. Every time I have some tea for her, she never wants to answer the phone. She's never available to talk on the phone. <sighs> no way. Unbelievable. Now Richie Richie guy's gonna stay. <sighs> Roscoe's calling. Hey Roscoe. Yeah, um, no, I, I had a flat tire. No, I'm, I'm, it's not even like an excuse. That actually what happened to me. My whole tire is met. Fired? Roscoe, you can't fire me. I'm like the best person you have there. Yeah, I know it was my first day, but still. St Roscoe. Ro <sighs> of course. Guess I'll just read the note. My day is already bad enough. Ever since this little notes come into my life for my dead dad. Gonna bring my mom into this? Don't, don't, don't.
speak on my mom. You know what? Him and his chauffeur can really get out of my life. He comes back into my life even when he's already out of everybody's life. Okay. And that's how he wants to do me? Fine. I think I will be. What does that mean? It just means I think I will be. Um, so, uh, you live here by yourself? No, it's me, my mom. Um, like eight other people. Eight other people live in here? Yeah, so that's a total of ten people, right? Yeah, eight and two and ten. Yeah, it's ten of us. I don't think this is enough space for that many people. What do you mean? I mean, I, you're on my bed. My mom is in here. We have three. This is your bed? Yes, that's my bed. Okay, uh, do you work? Oh, no. Well, today was my first day. Um, my mom normally works like three jobs, so I, did, I don't have to. But then I started feeling bad because I didn't want her to, you know, be sleeping all the time and spend time with me. Since she is like the only parent that I have. But then, got my job. And then today, got fired from my job. And it was my first day at work. So, yeah. So, um, how long have you lived here? Uh, we've been living here for... Three weeks now, this is our fourth place. We moved like four times. That means you've only been here not even a month. Yeah, three weeks, that's what I said. Why? Uh, nothing, just asking. Well, okay, tell me about your life. Oh, uh, well, you know, I just finished school, so my dad gifted me a Ferrari. Um, I'm going to be going to Harvard and attending there for business. So I got a full ride there because I had all A's. So because I got all A's, my dad gave me $2 billion. $2 billion? Yeah. But Are you lying to me right now? Oh, no, I'm not lying about anything. He normally gives me more than that, but I guess he didn't have all enough. Right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's what you're wearing? Yeah, I'm surrounded with what I have on. I mean, nothing, but you don't want to wear like a dress to look a little more, you know. I don't own any dresses. What? That's impossible. I think your driver's hunky. We should really hurry up. Wait! Where are we even going? You don't even know the area. You live in like New York. What? You live in New York. No, I don't. I live like 15 minutes away from here. No, my, no, 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 no. Levi lives in New York, him and his family. Yeah, a long time ago. We've been what do you mean a long time ago? When did you guys move back? Like five years ago? I think we should go. Oh, we should, we should head out. Come on. After you, ma'am. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, George. Sir, I told you about it. I may help you today. Uh, hey, can I get a biggie bag? I believe that comes with a Sprite. You want a burger or you want a chicken sandwich? Uh, chicken sandwich. What's your drink? A Sprite, I thought I said that. With sauce? Uh, barbecue sauce. All right, pull around, 504 is your total. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, George. So what is this again? Okay, so we got a biggie bag. It comes with fries. Not too many fries are in here. You can get chicken nuggets. I think you can get four nuggets or five nuggets. And you get a sandwich. You can get a burger, chicken sandwich, any of that with a drink. You got all of that? Yep, for $6. Only because you upcharge to like a chicken sandwich. But the burger is normally $5. So which one do you want? You want nuggets, fries, or chicken sandwich? So let me get this straight. Because I can't be the only one that's shocked about this. Right, George? You get... Chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. a fries, mm -hmm. a burger of your choice, correct? Mm -hmm. Or a little upcharge. Yeah. And a drink? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So which one do you want? Come on. Oh, I thought that was yours. I thought I was getting steak. No, me and my mom normally get four for fours, but we haven't been here in a minute. So she gets a four for four, and then we just split it. Like we might split one, we might split the fries. One of us get the burger, the other one get the nuggets, we split the fries and a drink. 
so I took the fries. Okay, you take fries and you go. Thank you, Caitlin. We're still getting steak, right? Because I don't know if this is going to fill me up. Steak? Yeah, what is steak? steak? It's like a part of a meat. Like some meat. Like a filet mignon. We're going to eat steak. Uh, hey, George, you remember that one time when you helped that homeless person out and gave him a mansion? You missed a lot, seriously. I can't wait for you to catch up. Fine. Well, you done eating already? That burger must be pretty small. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Thanks for um, inviting me out here. You can keep the drink too. Uh, uh, George, step on it. No, I'm, I'll walk. Wait, I insist that we drive you. And I insist that I walk, so thank you. Okay, well, let me at least pay for your ride, you know, since you're my sister. Okay, well, here, just use it for your rent. What did you just say to me? I wasn't snooping or anything, but... I did find this. That's exactly what you was doing. You're just like your dad. All you do is mind other people's business that isn't yours, and then you try to dangle your money in their face. Well, news flash, brother. We don't need you, your money, or your dumb drive. I need twenty dollars because I left my wallet at the house. I don't care anything smaller than this. Of course you don't. 